works a deep drop, bubbles the football, got it back, he might have lost it again, ball still loose, Bulldogs try to pounce on it, it's a huge stack up in the pile, and who's got the football, Sanford does, Sanford recovers, Dion Pierre with the football, and just like that, Bill D'Atavio's defense comes up with a takeaway, Bulldogs in great field position. Burks rolls to his right, looking for a receiver, wants to go long, this is intercepted! Intercepted at the back end of the defense. Coy Freeman comes up with a pick. And the Bulldogs for the second consecutive Owls possession force a turnover. Defensively, I knew it would be the strength of our team, um, you know, especially early in the year. Um, and, and it showed tonight. So um, we may have to play the defense a little bit more. Um, but, you know, they put us in some positions early in the game with the two back to back turnovers, you know, to be able to put the game away early. Hodges from the gun with Polk to his left, takes the snap, play action, looking left, throws left, has him in, there's Harris, makes a cut of the 15, to the 10, to the 5, inside the 5, to the 2, big time pick up for Andrew Harris, a gain of 35, Bulldogs want to go quickly, it's first and goal. Hodges takes the snap, play action, looking in zone, touchdown, Stanford, Bulldogs find the end zone, Chris Schelling, the 5'8 sophomore on the touchdown catch, and the Bulldogs are an extra point away from nodding this contest at seven apiece. Oh, it feels great, and it's, you know, I'm just glad to get, you know, one under the belt for those young, younger guys, you know, got a lot of young guys, and to come out with a win is huge, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of things we can go clean up, but, you know, that's what feeling, that's what practice is for, but, you know, just getting that first game, especially that first win under the belt is huge. It was kind of a weird day all day long, wasn't it? It was just kind of like clouds and wind and, you know, lightning and mist. Well, during halftime, we just told each other that we needed to come out with the third quarter and just step on the gas from the jump. And so that's exactly what we did. And we rallied together. We got the, uh, the sideline hype. And, you know, they just helped us, pushed us to uh, overcome. Back in the backfield, fake to Adams. Hodges with that clock starting to tick in his head. Signals for his man to move. He's got a man and a touchdown. That's Harris again. A coach Hatcher always talks about, you know, that third, that third quarter is like, you know, he, one of the most important quarters, you know, starting fast in that second half. You know, we came out there and we did. Hodges, touchdown, McKnight. In the second half, we finally got, we made some good adjustments at halftime. We got to rolling. We finally found a way to get the ball to Kelvin McKnight. Hodges in trouble, gets the ball away. He's got a man, that's McKnight, in the open towards the goal line. Touchdown, Bulldogs. 58-yard touchdown connection and the fourth touchdown pass for the All-American. This will go in the air, fourth down, and juggled and bobbled, incomplete. Sanford will take over on downs. And Amari Williams, Sumter went up, had his hands on it, but Williams was able to get in there and knock it loose. Very long night, and Sanford able to come up with a victory here in Cyber Stadium. At the end of the day, I'm just really proud of it. They did it. They came out and made the plays in the second half, and um, after kind of a lackluster first half, but uh, fortunately for us, as we're talking on a Friday morning, sure. the Sanford Bulldogs are victorious. When offense is struggling, defense is picking up, and when defense is struggling, offense is picking up. So it's just great to see, you know, finally all summer, you know, all that work we did all summer has finally come together. You know what? I would have been